Welcome back everybody to Battle Brothers. We are actually running a little bit short on ammunition, which I just realized when locking in again. But also Grotenhaven was like, looking for a little bit of support from our side, so maybe we can just combine that at the same time here. Yeah. I'm almost certain they will sell us some good stuff. Or, yeah, there we go. But extremely overpriced, so that is not going to happen. But we bought that for 169, we can sell our wood here for 270, I'm going to do that. Amber is worth nothing here though, except of course they are selling it. Most of the teas, I don't think that we get anything from that. So let's just do it like that. We got a little bit of money out of that, we are getting close to our target, which is 2000. Do I want a new guy? Theoretically not a bad idea, but... Oh yeah, it was this one. Uh, no. No one from over here. Hmm. Yeah, let's check on the contracts. These guys are ambushed, or well, the trade routes of them are being ambushed, so maybe we can get that one. The brigands are stealing their livestock. So yeah, 310 on completion, 80 crowns in advance. I would like to have more afterwards. 410. Got 20 more of that. I accept your offer. Then the Forgotten Ruins east of Grotenhaven. Um, oh, pretty far east. But yeah, let's get there slowly. In between, I think it will be sufficient time for our injured friend to heal up, I hope. Yeah, it might be, might not be. His PS10 is quite a, pro a bit of problem there. I think it's reducing his hit chance, right? Uh, I can see it only over here, Wait, after selecting him. Yeah, minus 20% melee skill. Will heal in two to three day, uh, one to three days. Might be, might not be. I'm going to wait for the next morning anyhow. Right here. I hope that it's going to work. I don't know though at what time these um, are reset. He's not very happy being with us, neither is that guy. <laughs> For him, I, when I read that. Realized what being a mercenary means, reducing his morale or his happiness. Well, that's his life. Anyhow, we are going in. We can't see what is waiting for us, but we are just going inside. Anyhow. Well, we have two ranged enemies. I'm not sure if they will come to us, therefore. Maybe if we already shoot a little bit at them. 51% on all of these three guys. Not working. And of course they are shooting back, but that is fine. Actually, it's moving quite close to us. Uh, this guy would just have a small shield, so no real shield bash. These guys, though, they cannot really get through here. So this here is a very narrow corridor. I hope we can make use of that. Let's wait for one more second. And there are still more enemies somewhere in the dark. And then we are moving ahead with the spear wall. Slowly? Why so slowly? Oh, because of the forest. Okay, got it. Apparently we are not going to rush to this area. Are you our injured guy? Yes, you are. For now, just stay right here. This should protect him a little bit from the ranged guys. And we also should check on moving our ranged guys behind the shields in a second. First of all, though, I want to block this guy. Go in with the... Now nah, don't go in, just go a little bit forward with the shield ready. They, I want them to move in so they just have one attack. I have to move in as well though, because otherwise I will be in the shooting line of these guys. Nice shot. Uh, move over there, reload, we can still do the next turn. Same counts for him, he's just moving next turn I guess. What's this? Ah, the dodge. Okay, stay here. 
and wait. Now we can do actually another shot before they even get to move. Maybe we kill one right in the beginning? Nope, not quite, but he's almost down. I'm fairly certain that it's going to work this time. Oh, this round already. Um, Don't move in there, that would be a bad idea. I don't think that he has line of sight on us when we are stepping to this location. We'll see that. He is very much in the open and I don't like that. We won't shoot this round therefore, but that's okay. While well, I have him not dying, our ranged guy is to me very valuable. Well, they all are of course, but he's, he should become really, really good. Okay, they're moving in first, guys, without shield. I like that a lot. Okay, that worked out perfectly. And he's now hidden, so the range guys actually wouldn't even be able to see him. I like that as well. Um, no, one stun is sufficient. I think we will kill this guy. Or not. Now, I'm not going to move forward with him. He's bringing up the shield and as well the uh, yeah, the spear. If they move in, they get stacked. <clears throat> and hopefully that happens all the time. And there my voice was going for a second. Didn't work out here. Actually, I should go for the head. He doesn't have a helmet. So that would be very painful if we manage to hit. Now it's my ranged guys are not really good at their job at the moment. Well, just proved me wrong that guy. Really nice hit on him. He's basically dead and breaking at the same time, so everything good over here. Um, I really would like to move him into the fight over there, but this guy or this guy for sure will come down at these. Yeah, the range guy will most likely shoot at us, so fall back to here, move in in the flank of the enemies as soon as they've managed to come through the spear wall. Not happy with that situation here either. Probably should try to kill or at least stun this one. Nothing happening over there. But best would of course killing him. That was a nice hit. Not sufficient though. You know, um, yeah, get inside there. The enemies should not be able to see me right there. And that was, of course, unfortunate that he jumps in there and... Well, the spear doesn't hit him, otherwise he probably would be dead. There we go. This guy routing. Let's try to get someone else to do that best would be if he routes. But we even miss the stun guy. I'm going to move him probably down. Yeah. And him. Hmm. Well, I would like. No, I thought I could place him over there. And that is not working. So get behind the shields. Apparently, that was a mistake move here. What a very nice shot. We pierced this ear. Actually, we even ripped it off. Sounds painful. We need somebody with an axe over here to break his shield. And you? Surprise! <coughs> okay, can we maybe finally kill him? No? Not? Okay. Really, guys, come on. He needs to die. I'm also fine with them dying, so this guy is breaking. <clears throat> and we slowly move in a little further. Oh, he came out of that. Uh -huh. I, I didn't like that part. I didn't like that he gets out of that. Without being us being able to attack him. Mm, actually move over there. 
try to shoot him. Yeah, he doesn't hit good enough for now. I need him to break. He destroyed my shield. Well done. And oh, now he's breaking. Good job. Good job, guys. I want his shield though, so he has to die. They all should die, in my opinion. They, they mess with the wrong guys here. Very good, he didn't get out of that. I will pitch it. No, 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 we are running them down. Hmm, unfortunate. I'm not going to waste any more ammunition though. Our guys are fine, just hitting them. A beautiful hit. Didn't even in or destroy or break the shield. Just cutting off the head, straight away. I also try to collect it, I think. Maybe still get to that point and they're not dying by running away. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, get over there. As said, I'm not really sure if you need to collect these things and or you'll get them all the time. Really? We can't take it? Oh. It seems like it costs us um, points, action points, to pick something up. Well, it might just become a test now if it works or not. Not this is actually the enemy. So, yeah, we do get the shield. I don't know if that is now by accident, but I, I would assume now that, it, that you always get everything that drops. You can just equip you guys if the shield was broken during the battle. You just re-equip him with one. Like we could have done with him. Hmm, that runs a little bit better, take it. And yeah, take the shield that is fully functioning. I really would like to get him some proper armor as well. We got a little bit of food out of that, I like it. These eggs are normally not bad. Yeah, for sure better than what you have at the moment. And we get a little bit of a level up. It's one of our shield guys, so yeah, take this. Being better with a shield cannot be wrong for him. Increase your defense, increase your hit points a little bit, and of course your attack. Our ranged friends. Yeah, he also should learn a little bit faster. Oh, he's getting really good at shooting. I like it a lot. Um, and I think resolve is for him getting more and more important. I like you to cripple the enemies after hitting, even though of course I should have taken the students. I keep, I will keep on forgetting that I think. Ranged, you need to get better. Um, and I will increase his defense a little. He, he could become probably a really good melee fighter as well. But yeah, I need ranged one, a good one, and a hunter or poacher or whatever he was. Seems just right for that. Yeah, more experience. I remembered. Um, yeah, defense, defense, and resolve. He's very low on that. He got a really good weapon, though. I like that one. I was very fortunate that we picked it up during the fight against the orcs. Anyhow, this battle is won. Let's go back to Grotenhaven. Another successful fight, I, I think. We didn't get hit once, we just lost a shield. Also, with uh, completing this mission, we will become a. Yeah, we'll finish the task, I would assume. If we didn't pay now. Yeah, well. Yeah, it works out still. Perfect. We got a, got a little bit of ammunition and like that a lot, so that's really good for us. Straight routes are not being ambushed anymore, so actually, I would assume everything is getting quite a bit cheaper now. Yeah, there we go. It's. Uh, what? Well, it's 30 gold less, but. Still, way too expensive. We are going to get rid of a few items over here. We have way too many eggs and repairing them is not really worth it. Uh, we also don't need that many quivers. The other weapons I will keep for now, uh, not that one. I will keep these for now. I want to swap it around a little bit. 
And what we will do is probably just going on the next mission, right? It's also level 1 or difficulty 1 still. So, should be easy going. Oh, cargo goes, goes to Varel. I have no idea where that is. Um, pay me more. No, you don't. Well, I accept it. I don't know where Varel is. Well, I'm almost certain the carrot will lead me there. That's actually really quite some distance. I'm not getting paid much for that. Anyhow, our ambition is fulfilled. As you can see, everybody's getting a little bit happier. We lost 1,000 crowns and we're getting Reno. Well, getting Reno, uh, it's not best. Could be much worse, though. We'll make the fights at the end a little bit more challenging. But who is becoming the shield bearer? And I think it's going to be Ulf the Fearless. I will move him back in the line. Because this thing has a two ranged or uh, two tile range and is dealing plenty of damage. Also, it's 100% effective against armor and it ignores 30% of the armor. So, actually, really, really nice one. Oh, there were a whole bunch of dire wolves. Dire wolves, even though they sound pretty simple and cute, are extremely dangerous. You don't want to mess around with them too early. They get, I think, uh, three attacks every round and deal good amount of damage. So stay away if possible in the beginning. Later on, of course, they get just destroyed by your units, especially your ranged guys will do a good job on them. And then again, the dire wolves are well I think they need two turns until they're in your lines. But yeah. I said we try to stay away. Brigands, they could have attacked that I would have been absolutely fine with that. It was just seven of them. It's a little bit of a shame that you can't do anything while traveling around. I mean, we could... Oh, Nachtzera, Goblin Raiders. The Nachtzera are absolutely fun. I'll take them on an instant. The other guys? Not sure about that. Anyhow, we are searching for a new thing, for a new achievement for our guys. Um, yeah, I think we are going to... To, uh, to grow our war, our war band, our band of brothers to 12 units at least. 12 brigands. 12 brigands are attacking us and I'm not 100% sure if it's going to radar or anything. Uh, and where is the caravan? We we see our nine guys. Over oh, there is the caravan actually. Um, we don't know where the enemies are exactly. And it's in the swamp. I don't like that. We are not moving good. He dropped in some of there, the enemies. In the swamp, you have reduced melee skill, melee de defense, and range defense. For range guys, that's it doesn't really matter that much. But for our close combat fighter, that's really not good. Okay, they're coming from all sides. Uh, that, that might cause actually a real problem over here. This guy over there that is all pretty good equipped as well. He's a raider, so I'm not happy with that. Um, let him come to us. I think that guy, he can come to us with the dagger. I'm absolutely fine with also the uh, caravan hands dealing with him. We need to protect... Eric a little bit better, so move up there. In best case, get on this ground there. Stop moving around, I want to see. This is murky water, this earth. So I will move over here, because he is now still in the mud water and we are on better ground. In best case scenario, this guy will move over here, so they will not flank us. It's becoming a tricky and risky thing here. <clears throat> I think I will fall on this side here back with all of my guys. They have the advantage, I think, on that side. We can get over there, so that's really good. He can move in here, but it's only one guy who is on proper ground then as well. Cannot shoot at him, we have only a 28% chance thanks to stupid knight. 
Oh yeah, damaging his shield a little, so that's a good thing. Thirty-five percent chance. Let's try. Uh, that was not even close, my friends. I'm very much afraid of this guy. He will. He will cause problems. I mean, I gotta stay strong. He's in the mud. Okay, we need to do something about these enemies now. Let's kill him, best case scenario. Nope, not quite. <laughs> He's killing the donkey! I mean, better the donkey than my guys, right? No, we won't get paid if, if the donkey dies. But I think my first priority should be to keep our guys alive. And not the doggy. As soon as I move, I can't attack, so I can better get on the high ground, or not high ground, the uh, stable ground, out of the mud. Very nice, this guy is done, that's what we needed. And he's dead. Really good. Good start. Good start of the killing. And uh, that's also murky water. Fall back. Yeah, they can deal with these guys. I'm totally fine with that. Reload. Uh, and can we take a proper shot at someone? Just try. I have the feeling there's still much more enemies coming to us. Come on, you gotta do a little bit better. Donkey is very strong, apparently. Am I of any kind of support over here? Not right now. I'm fairly certain that these three guys will be fine. These two are confident, so they get quite a boost over here. So I will move over here. Maybe I can save the donkey. Who knows? I hate it though to get out of, of uh, from this only proper place over here. So he will stay. I shouldn't have done that. It was a waste of tea. Okay, what can we do? 78% chance and dead. Ah, who's next? This weapon is just great. Yeah, block him. I like it. Yeah, destroys body armor. That's also good. I really would have liked to deal some damage, but it's a good start. We will fall back. Same our range guys next turn. They will fall back. Can we stun him again? Yes, we can. Can we kill him? No, we are. Well, we have no fatigue anymore left, so we won't kill him. That is the most stupid position that you can put yourself into there. Well, it's his life, not mine. Oh, well, he paused. Uh, well, it's one of the most annoying things <laughs> that I've encountered so far. He will counterattack every not successful attack means he's blocking it or anything. Very annoying. Um, 72, 78. Dead. And he's running. Really good. Really nice. He's missing the donkey. Who else is coming in? Uh, move over there. I will try to get my range guy around here a little bit. You will stay here. You will defend against those incoming. If they're coming in. I should bring a little bit of support over there as well and try to defeat these guys without serious losses. And this proper lands I will get over there. Uh, no, this is water. Stay over there. Do nothing. He's routing anyhow, so let's try to beat him up. Uh, this guy is almost down. 
It's most certainly he's dying in a second. He can't move. I cannot properly hit him, so no, don't attack him. You can wait. I, he might move in. Can we get another death blow? <sighs> Unfortunate. Yeah. Don't beat the donkey. Okay, luckily I get to move him, otherwise he might get attacked by the thug over here. <laughs> These shots are just a disaster. Um, wait. I'm a little bit hesitant of moving him in. Even though we have to fall the company. Oh yeah, because of the battle standard. Um, a little bit hesitant to move him in. Him in. He has no shield. And he might get beaten up too quickly. All of our shield guys are kind of busy. Get that high ground, or this proper ground that defend it. Would be really nice if we get more enemies losing their morale. Oh, he got out of that. He might be coming back. Um, he's still moving. So wait for him. He's still moving, you are going to wait as well. Oh, they are not moving. They will at some point. I need to get to either this spot or that spot with a shield guy. He can he can stand in the water, that's absolutely fine. Did he deal some damage? Not really. Very nice hit. Unfortunately still standing. Go and wait. Yeah, we are not very fast, right? Oh, we are also very much uh, short on fatigue. I really would like to help the donkey. Yeah, well, we can try to get around. But it costs so much energy to do that. Let's try an aim shot. Maybe that works a little bit better. Oh, actually, we did hit. The enemies should be very low on fatigue themselves by running through the mud the whole time. Beautiful hit, he's running as well. Recover a little bit. So maybe he's coming back. I'm, I'm totally fine with and one or two enemies escaping from that fight. Um... He's untouched, wavering, steady. Let's try to take him out. Beautiful hit, taking away half of his health. Don't hit the donkey, please. Very nice. He, he, it seems like he doesn't care about that. That his friend just got killed. I could get over there, but I would be completely out of fatigue and this guy would attack us. So I might wait. Ah, yeah, now I move in again here. Yeah. I'm waiting, and the next turn I get maybe a little bit closer. Maybe I move over here first as well. These are going to become a pain in my backside. Poor donkey, he's going to die. Oh, really? Not bad, my friend. Yeah, try to beat him up. That's fine. He's not running away anymore. Yeah, I'm trying to get over here so I can... Uh, Gain a little bit more of my fatigue and 
then attack the maybe move with more than just this one guy. Yeah, I'm going to move the shield guy over there. He's continued to shooting on these friends. He's just demolishing the enemies over here. Can we do something about him, please? Nope. Why is the radar confident? All of his friends are dying over here. Might as well move over here so we can get a halfway clean shot. Um, do I want to move in? No, it's these two are going to be fine. We're going to make our way over there as well. And the donkey probably is dead. Oh. This hand is doing a really good job. Gotta admit that. So, dealing care of, uh, taking care of that one as well. And let's shoot. Ah, uh, very nice. If we manage to get these guys break, I will be very happy. I think one of no one of the enemies that was running away is still on the battlefield. He might have routed now, not routed, uh, recovered from routing. Yeah, he did. There he is, actually. No, that's not him. No, he's still running. He decided it's not worth. Oh, they're they're running away. If the message pops up, if I want to run them down, I think this time I'll pass. Let them run, I'm fine with that. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, why didn't I attack? I thought it was someone else in line. Yeah, go and recover your fatigue. If they're really running away, we have no way, no chance of picking up or catching up with them anyhow. Yeah, they're running. I would like to get his armor though. But um it seems a little bit more safe to just let them get away. He might get over there though. So we still have to kill this guy. He will not be able to run away. Yeah, we can protect the donkey. Could engage with him maybe as well. Oh, not necessary anymore to engage him. That was a, that was a pretty fantastic shot, I have to admit that. This guy is a little bit on the edge as well. Get out of the swamp, you might get sick. You just need one proper hit on that guy and he's probably dead. So, there we go. Now let's skip the turns of our guys. And I would assume that he just continues running. Might take a little bit of time now, because... Oh no, there we go. It's over. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised how that went down. I would assume we can still continue the escort. Because the donkey is kind of still existing as well as one hand. There we go. Yeah, and we continue. Do we still get paid in full? If everything's destroyed and beaten up? Oh, it looks like it. There we go. And Varel is now well supplied. Let's have a look quickly at what they can offer. Well, let's be honest. That city is a little bit small. I expected a, something more. Let's have a look if this armor is actually of any kind of use for anyone at least. 
It has 55 rating. Um, yeah. Most certainly it is useful for our guys here. And we leveled up. We should have a look at that quickly. I like very much the dodging. I think that is a must-have. Same as later on the shield expert. Increase your defense. Oh, he's developing there pretty good. I like it. And a little bit better hitting. Uh, you are supposed to learn faster. I remember it again. Yeah, just one point, but that one point can make the difference. Uh, this helmet is a value of 40. I think everybody is at least the same, right? Except of our ranged guys. Max fatigue plus 2. Ah, they, they can keep that, but I'm fine with that. Yeah, Wolf the Fearless. He was just destroying everybody. I like that a lot. I really would... I think a second... Um... Weapon that has two tiles range could be very helpful. Doesn't have to be that one. A pitchfork probably would do the job as well. I'll give that a thought. First of all, <clears throat> let's sell this crap stuff though. Or, oh, not really crap, but um, the slightly broken items. What kind of spear do you have? Militia speed 25 to 30, same over there. That's fine. Let's get rid of these two as well. We don't need that one anymore. Well, we never use it with the enemies. Before we do anything else though, I think that was it for today. So thank you very much for dropping by. I'm looking forward to see you in the next round and I'm looking forward actually to play the next round because this game is just really addictive. So, thank you very much and bye for now.